Hello YouTube, I'm Tallman Brad and we're back with Map Tools by Zipcore to explore some of the other features not covered in the first video. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the configuration settings we can play with in Map Tools. What, you didn't know there was a configuration file? Well, yes, you can change the level that snow appears on mountains from, the height of water on the map, and even how smooth or textured your map is. Thank you for the great feedback on the last video. That's extremely kind of you. Ed, don't be shy about liking this one too if you find it useful. Now, if you haven't watched the first video I did on Map Tools, you should watch that first. I've had a lot of requests to demonstrate editing the height map and that video is on its way but today we'll just run through the configuration file as it contains some extremely useful settings you should know about. I'll start by making a fresh map in Alpha 20 and I'll leave the settings on screen for those of you that like to play along at home. So there are the settings that I've used. I've just put in TMB for Tom and Brad and today's date. And I'm just having a quick look at the map. It's not bad. Now, the reason why these cities look so big is because I've used Mage Daddy's improved random world gen mod. Now, I'll leave a link to that in the description. But uh, if you don't use that, you're just going to get slightly smaller cities. It really does do a nice job of bulking out your cities. Anyway, there it is there. And looking at the map, I can see the first thing that's very obvious about that is that there's no snow on the peaks of these mountains. Now, eh, not everybody needs that or wants it even, but I do quite like it. So that is something that we can do automatically with map tools. So that's the first thing I'm going to show you. But before we go any further, once you've generated a map, you must remember, and you'll know this from the first video, that you have to run the map at least once. So let's quickly do that now. New game using my new map, TMB01. I'm not actually going to do anything in the game. Literally just load it up and then quit back out. There we are. We're in the game. I'm just going to escape and just quit straight back out. Now, it seems a bit strange, but again, if you've seen the first video, you'll understand why. And then from this screen, I'm going to bring up F1 and type in map export hit enter to get the number that i need map export two hit enter and wait for it to do its job so that went really quick so let's find the files that it's created so i'm into app data see this in the first video generated worlds last warhol there it is right at the top so i'm ignoring the alpha 20 files i'm going straight into workspace to have a look and in here we'll find the config file so let's have a look at that now you can use Notepad++ if you want to, to open this up, but I'm just using the normal Notepad and I've got it set to default to open up JSON files or JSON files when you double click on them. If you haven't got that set up, you can just right click on it and say open with, and then you can choose from your list of files what you would like to use. Now I like to use Notepad, so I'll just say OK, and there it goes. Now let me zoom in on that for you with control and mouse wheel, and let's have a look at what we've got in here. What we're firstly interested in is uh, getting some snow on those mountains. Now, Alpha 20 doesn't do that by default. What we can do, though, is we can use this tool here to change the level that snow does appear. Now, this doesn't happen until you reconvert back your file using map tools. So at the minute, it's telling me that snow will start appearing from 140 blocks up, roughly. If I want snow to start a bit sooner, I can change that number to say, for example, 100, or if I want it to start later, change it to 150. So let's change that to 110. Also, it's saying here, snow forest only. So what's it actually saying there? Well, if you can imagine you're in a desert region and you have some high mountains, would it be right to have snow on top of the mountains in the desert? I don't think it would. Personally, I think it's good that you only see snow on top of mountains in a forest biome, so I'll leave that set to true. If I change that to false, then it will show snow on the top of mountains in any region, so that's desert, wasteland, uh, and obviously the forest as well. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to go back to the game, and from the console, I'm now going to type in map convert, and my map, the one I'm working on, is the second one. Make sure you check your number and then I'll hit enter. So what's happening now is that Map Tools is regenerating that world using those settings. So all it's going to do is apply snow to the top of mountains in the forest biome. There we are, it's finished doing its job, so I'm just gonna close down the console. Now I haven't got an actual game running on this system, so I'm happy to start a fresh one. But I just want to mention that if you are currently playing a game on your map, then you start editing it, you may run into issues. I don't know if that's completely true. I haven't tested it, but just to be warned that it's probably better to start a fresh game on a map that you've changed heavily. 
All right, we're back in the game. Console, DM, escape, H, space, and I'm flying. And there is the snow that wasn't there when Alpha 20 did its own random world gen, but it is there now and it looks great. So there's one setting that you can benefit from and adjust by using map tools. Let's see what else it can do. So the next setting I want to change is the water height. And to do that and to at least see the effects of it, let's get ourselves to a shoreline here. And we can see we've got a building there and the water is at the default height that it appears in the game. And we'll look at that in the settings. Now I'm going to risk reloading this game to also test the theory out that I just mentioned there. Um, so we'll come out of the game, leaving my character in place there. So we should respawn at the same point. Then we'll go back into our config file and zoom in. Now the water level at the minute is set to 30.95 and I'm not entirely sure why it's 0.95 in chatting to other players. It could be because the 0.95 ensures that it is just slightly below any map height that is 31. I'm not really sure, so I'm going to stick with that 0.95. But what I'm going to do just so we've got a, a big change in the water level so it's very easy to see is I'm just going to drop that to 15. We'll save that. Come out of there and we'll go back into the game, back into the console. Now I need to get map tools to regenerate the map. So I'm going to type in map convert again, and mine is number two and hit enter and give it a minute. There we go. It's finished doing its job. So I'll come out of the console and I'm, this time I'm going to try just continue a game and we'll see if it makes any difference. So that's TMB02 and hit start. So here we are back in the game, but you can see straight away the water height hasn't actually changed here. But notice that we have the grass texture going down the hill and it continues down under the waterline, which it doesn't normally do. So let me just have a quick look down a bit lower under the water. And here we go. You can see there where the tide line is. It's way down from what it normally is. So there we go. There's proof that you do really need to start a new game when you're making major changes to your map. New game, last of Warhol, and we're on TMB03. And here we are back in a new game. I think I found roughly the right spot. I don't recognize if that's the, the same building, but it was roughly here. And you can see straight away what's happened. If I just get a bit of a height, you can actually see the shape of the lake that was there beforehand. And it's updated the terrain to show that weathered section at the right height. So there we go. That's changing your water height. So the next thing I want to look at is this smooth level. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to edit the height map, but I don't want to get into that in this video. So I'm just going to show you the results. The next video will be all about editing the height map. So the default is a smooth level of five. Now I'm going to do three different versions of this. I'm going to do a smooth level of zero, then the default five. And then I'm also going to try a smooth level of a hundred and we'll see what impact that has on our map. So I have drawn three squares on my height map and each square is 10 by 10 and that's looking obviously top down. And the first square is one block high off the ground. The second square is 10 blocks high from the ground and the third square is 100 blocks high from the ground. And let's see what's happened here. And now this is with a smoothing setting of zero. This, you know, this should actually be a 10 block by 10 block but it looks smaller than that here for some reason but you can see that it's very definitely one off the ground the second block which was touching it is 10 blocks high and then the 100 you can see it's going straight up 100 blocks now i can already hear some brains ticking as to ways you can use this in your maps and absolutely i've made castles using this system and it works really well so before we try changing this back to the default value of five let's just also have a look at what else has happened to the map now the mountain is made up out of these steps. It's almost like Minecraft. It doesn't look good. So just be warned, if you have your sharpening set to zero or at least a very low number, your terrain is going to suffer for it. So in this version, it's now set to the default value of five. So you can see that the one block high has completely disappeared and merged with the ground. The 10 blocks high is still standing there but the edges are slightly smoothed off and the, the hundred block high obviously is very visible but also has been smoothed off as best it can at least in the game so with the smoothing set to 100 you can see what's happened here it's just it's basically melted those things that we drew on the map which is fine that's to be expected i don't know if it goes higher than 100 but i don't know if it actually needs to as well we can't even see well certainly can't see the first one and we can't even see the second one it's perhaps just blended into the bottom there somewhere. 
But if we have a look at the mountain, you can see those steps completely gone and it's now left these lovely smooth rolling hills. Maybe a little bit too smooth, maybe a bit too rolly. Anyway, so there's the difference between zero, which is no smoothing, five, which is the default, and 100. So in the next video, I'll show you how to edit the height map yourself. It's pretty straightforward, but you will need to use something like Photoshop or GIMP. I don't think Windows Paint has the tools that you're going to need. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to give it a little like if it was useful, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Ha, ha, ha.